In lesson 31, we're looking at negative reciprocals, perpendicular lines, and remote interior angles. The first example is um, to write the equation of the line that is perpendicular to y equals 2 fifths x minus 3 and passes through the point 3, 2. When lines are perpendicular, the relationship of their slope is the negative reciprocal. So I know that the slope of the other line will be a negative 5 over 2, but I'll still have to find out the y-intercept. So what I'll do is put in 3 for x and the 2 for y to find out what my y-intercept is. So I'll have 2 equals negative 5 over 2 times 3 plus b. So I have negative 15 over 2 plus b. And I'll add the 15 over 2 to both sides. So b will equal, I have to have common denominators, so that'll be 4 over 2. So I'll have 19 over 2. So the line that's perpendicular to the given line is y equals negative 5 over 2x plus 19 over 2. And that would be the equation of our new line. The second example says to prove that the measure of an exter external angle of a triangle equals the sum of the measures of the remote interior angles. So, we need to prove that the angle D would equal the sum of this A plus B. So first of all, what we've already looked at is we know that if it's a straight angle, when we add those degrees together, that would make 180 degrees. So I know that C plus D would equal 180. And we also know that when we add all the interior angles of a triangle, that that equals 180. So I would have A plus B plus C equals 180. And then what I'm going to do is get the C by itself. So I'm going to subtract D from both sides. So C equals 180 minus D. And I'm going to replace the C with that, just using substitution. So A plus B plus 180 minus D equals 180. Then I'm going to subtract 180. So A plus B minus D equals 0, and then I'll add D to both sides. So A plus B equals D. So the remote interior angle sum equals the external angle.